Hello everyone, this is Diamond Girl 34 and this is also, yet again, um, a couple more chapters of my book. Um, someone who commented on my other chapters, I think her name was Anna, yeah I think it was Anna something, um, sorry that I've forgotten your name, really sorry, uh, yeah. And uh, Mini Crash one, Mini Crash One, who's actually in the book, <laughs> and Sean Minecraft. They all said that the book was really good, and they wanted to hear some more. So here's the next two chapters, chapter three and chapter four. So um, I hope you enjoy. Chapter three: Diamond with a job. Diamond kneeled on the floor, sharpening her axe on an anvil. You know, she said to Minnie and Dizer, "I really need some money." Minnie thought for a while. You could farm for somebody, or, or... She looked around the room for inspiration. Or keep somebody's house protected from mobs. Diamond lay back on the wooden floor and looked up at the stars through the glass ceiling. No, she said. I need something, you know, special. Diamond and Minnie suddenly had the same idea. You could be Minnieville Postwoman. Diamond rolled over and got up. That's a great idea. In an hour and 27 minutes, they had built a nice post office for Diamond. It looks awesome, said Dizabelle. By this time, Catty and Teal had joined them. It does, said Teal. Teal had somewhat of a panda look. She had white hair and white skin and a red and white hoodie. More white than red. Her eyes were black and mysterious, yet friendly. But Catty was a fun person with red hair and a jacket with an orange cat on it. Minnie had brown hair and, and a lovely yellow hairband. She always wore a, striped, wore a striped red and blue jacket and black jeans. She had a get-up-and-go attitude. Chapter 4. Sean and his camera. The next day, Sean Minecraft w walked into Diamond and Teal's shop with a camera. Say hi, he said, filming Diamond giving Tiffany Potter a purple chest plate. Hey oh, said Tiff. Sup, Sean's camera, said Diamond, taking no notice and giving a pair of yellow boots to another customer. She multitasks, said Sean, speaking to the camera. Diamond took a puff of fish away from Catty's, Catty's son. She knelt down beside him and said, Puff of fish can hurt you, okay? She took the puffer fish over to a corner of the shop and put it on a brewing stand. Let's just keep this away from him, yeah? She said to Catty. Catty nodded. Teal came out from the dressing room with Piggly dressed in a pink outfit and a yellow helmet. How much is this? asked Piggly. Two cubes, said Teal. Piggly gave it to her. Thanks, she called as she walked out of the shop. Diamond and Teal high-fived. Another happy customer, said Diamond. To be honest, said Teal, Piggly is one of our best friends. She's likely to buy anything for from us for a cheap price and a smile. Nah, said Diamond. Nah, Diamond shook her head. I think Piggly really did like that outfit. Sean turned the camera off and put it in Diamond and Teal's staff chest. That's going on YouTube, he said. Do you actually want to buy anything? asked Teal, casually handing him a pair of red boots. He gave them back. No, not today, he said. I'm saving up for a plot. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed. Um... If you want some more, like this video, I guess. I will probably do some more as well, because um, Mini Crush said she really liked the book, so I'll probably put some more on YouTube. Uh, well, see you later.